This is Sagan, and I am back. I've been getting a lot of requests for um, class setups. Now, I haven't played the game enough to where I'm confident to give you the best setup, but I'm going to show you the beginner setup, something I'm using to get established and play the game. And then we're going to get into this domination gameplay. So let me go ahead and pull my setup real quick for you guys. Boom, magic. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm starting off with the AK-12. And this is what I'm using. Now, look at this. I'm never going to get a camel. These things are way too high. But look at this. So what I'm doing is I'm starting off with foregrip and suppressor. And for my perks, I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to use toughness, I'm going to use scavenger, I'm using lightweight, I'm using flag jacket, I'm using fast hands. I'm not using any type of exo ability or exo launcher. Now let me show you something I didn't notice in the beginning. If you press the triangle button, you can actually change how this works. I actually turned it into a sentry, and I actually turned that so it scrambles the um, people's signal. I didn't know you can do that, but you can upgrade your equipment. I learned that from the comments. I really do listen to the comments you guys leave and everything. So let me show you this game in action. I mean, it's gun in action. The only thing I did different is I took the Warbird, the Night Night Machine, and I added it so it would fly on its own. I actually got it for the first time a couple games before this. I wasn't impressed with it. Actually, the Night Night Machine didn't really put people to sleep. The thing kept overheating, things of that nature. So it's just a matter of learning how to play with it better. Now, what I'm going to show you on this gameplay, I'm going to show you how I do what's called moving camping. Like, I'll hold a spot down and I'll take off like this. I get into these areas and then I try to get out of there as soon as I can. I know there's a big difference in camping in Advanced Warfare versus, say, camping in Ghosts. This reminds... Oh, look at that. I can't move. You got me going so slow. <laughs> I still hate the fact that the chat is right in the middle of the screen. Something that's extremely annoying. Let me get my revenge on this guy. Oh, there was somebody back there helping him. All right, turd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys different spots on this. And I'm going to play the objective and try to win. Because there's actually several spots on this map here on Solar that I think are really, really great. But let me go ahead and get B first. And Oh, look at that. They're flashbanging. They're doing things to freeze me up. Okay, I see how they're playing. But it's all good. You know what? You jump up, you get put down. So look at this. Hey, look on the back of my gun, too. It says, I camp, you cry. I went ahead and made a little emblem. Look at that. See, they can use the exo ability. I can use the exo ability. Where's these guys? Anyway, so... Oh, night, night! Oh, you see that? That's the one thing I like about this. It's not a knife anymore. It's more like a power punch to the dome. It's so offensive. But anyway, here, let me show you the first spot I like to go ahead and get to. Right in here. This is one of my favorite type of things to find in a map. One way in, one way out. Imagine team camping this. You can handle, hold this down like a boss. But I like this because you can sneak out of here and kind of lay down a little bit and get beat. And you have a little protection. They can get you from the left and from behind you. But look at that. These guys over there. What is this? What kind of laser beam? Oh, my God. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Look at this. I got a, a night night beam coming after me. What, what is this thing? Can it get me through the wall? Look at this. Oh, now this is a great spot because once you're... Oh, look at the laser. Oh, no, no. Ooh, I did a little damage. See, once you're in here, if you had a teammate guarding his door, you can sit there and guard B. And the good thing is, because you're playing ah, domination, every time they get on the flag, you get a warning. So you can go down there and take them out and put them to sleep. So this is definitely one of my favorite camping spots on this map already. A lot of people don't even know about this. These are the little things people don't pay attention to. And so what I'm doing, look, see, they're taking B. Where is he? Where? Oh, that's not him. That's not, but that's him. Oh, shot you in the feet. Get out of here. And look at that. I got a bloodthirsty. See, I'm on a pretty decent roll right now. And so I could just sit here and kind of guard this. I'm kind of worried about them coming from my back. And look, since one of my teammates getting beat, come on, let me help you out, player. Lay down by that dead body. Act like I am dead. And look at that. See, now I got my score streaks. And if you're wondering where I got a care package, that's some of the things they give you. You get these little um drop supplies, supply drops, and you'll get a care package two minutes into the game. So that, that was from a, um one of those things. And so look, they took B. I was up there guarding a friend. Look at that. Put him to sleep. Now, I probably should put the turret right here, but I don't know. I don't know the best spots for putting everything at yet, but I really wanted to show you guys how I go about. Oh, look at that. See, I slipped up. I'm showing you guys my thought process as I get better. Like, you know, the, basically my scores are getting higher. I'm able to get the high score streaks, something I didn't do at first. So I'm getting past the point of just using UAVs, but I'm going to tell you this. You know what? Let me put this over on the roof. The score streaks in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, they're not good at all to me. And honestly, there is no dominating score streak. Like, even watch, I'm going to probably put up a gameplay later with me getting a Night Night Machine. I want you guys to see how the Night Night Machine works. There's nothing real dominant. Now, I do think one thing that's evened out, they did take away a lot of the stuff. Oh, where's this guy at? You know what? All right, let me be a team player. I don't know how many flags that is, but I've captured quite a few flags. You know what I mean? Let me go make sure this is clear, and I'm going to drop that care package. Oh, look at this guy. And look at this. Boom. Aim has gotten a little better, too. See, that's what's happening. My aim's getting better. I'm understanding the game more. Yeah, they've taken away things like IEDs. 
You know what's funny? A lot of these guys say, oh, you're not going to be able to cap. You're not going to have all your knees. Look, why, why is he trying to take my care package? Get out of here, Terry. You saw me drop it. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, they got rid of things like IED, so it's harder to guard your back. But they also got rid of the irritating things that the um, rushers would use, like C4. And there's very little noob tubing. There's an attachment you can put on a gun where you can shoot like um, kind of like a new tube. You can't. You do have that attachment on a gun, the underbarrel thing. But I'm not too worried about that. Not too many people have used those yet. So what happened is they got rid of things we can camp with, but they got rid of things they can counter camp us with. So now camping has evolved. Like I said, advanced warfare, advanced camping. I think the best campers are going to be teams, and that's what I've seen so far. You get these whole teams that hold down areas of the map, and it's hard when you're running solo. I think that's the big difference. It's hard to crush people solo like it was on um, Call of Duty Ghosts. And that's to be seen, to be honest. I'm saying that now because it's early on the game. Who knows? You may give me a couple weeks, and I'm going to show you spots where you're looking at 11 and 4. I'm not doing too bad. I may be able to show you spots where you just put them to sleep. But I'm still learning the map just like everybody else. So I love the fact we're all on that learning curve. No one is really dominating the game. The score's pretty low. Like, nobody's going like 55-0. and 0. And Anyway, so look, halftime. So I started off 11-4. Let's see if we can go ahead and do a little bit better in the second half. I'm still going to be a team player. I'm still going to capture flags. And I'm going to show you how I hold these little spots down. And let's see if we can go ahead and get the Night Night Machine. I want to see what the Night Night Machine you know, does when it's in remote control mode and I'm not controlling it. I'm really close to getting my score streak. So if you notice, I played a little conservative towards the end because as soon as I capture this flag, I'm going to get my um, UAV. And then once I get that, getting a sentry gun and getting the night night machine should be the next step. Hopefully no one takes me out before I get the night night machine. So look at that. We go ahead and capture A. I drop up the UAV and I want to get back into that B spot if I can. I really like this spot. This spot is kind of beast. Look at this. One way in, one way out. I'm telling you, this is going to probably be one of the spots I'm going to get somebody to guard my back. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh what you doing? Begging for a piece of that bubble. Look at that. I got a double. <laughs> and I put him to sleep. Look, I'm trying to get that war burst. So I'm going to be really conservative. Let me see if I can get this remote tour. You know what? I want to put it over B if I can. Like, where is he? Where is he? There, there you go. Get out of here, turd. I'm trying to take A. And you know what? Let me get A. Maybe this will give me that war bird. How close am I to it? Come on. Come on. Yes, I got it. I got the remote control night night machine. Now, let's see what it can do. Let's see if it puts them to sleep or if it's just a waste of a perk. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to upgrade that thing fully to where it's going to be like a 20 kill streak. There's a whole bunch of things you can add on it. Rockets and things of the nature. Now, let me put this toward here. Now, I got it so it's set in automated, automated mode so it can go ahead and take people out. And let me call in the night night machine. And see if we can go ahead and put some distance between that. Look, birds of prey. I don't know if it kills someone, but I just got a, um, what's the word? I look B. They just took B. So the turret gun isn't working. Maybe they're running with blind eye. Look at that. Get out of here, turret. I'm trying to take A. And look at this. Oh, there's another guy there. Look, my teammate's shooting at him. Look, get him, teammate. Wait, there's a guy laying on the ground. Well, I thought you were dead. Look, get out of here, turret. And look at that. Is that, is the 99 machine even getting any kills? I don't even know. Look, it say birds of prey, so it must be getting some kill. Look, I got a merciless. Oh, I'm on a 10 kill streak. That's what I'm talking about. Look at my clan tag over there in the left. See, I'm getting... Oh, look at this guy. Get out of here. I'll take out my turret, turret. Oh, night, night. Look, I'm starting to get... Oh, let me look in this thing real quick. I just wanted to kind of get his perspective while I'm here. Look at that guy right there. Look at that. Oh, I, I don't even have an aim with this thing. I'm kind of wasting my time. But I wanted to see if I could take these guys out. Look at that. Oh, Exo jumping. I oh, forget it. But you know what? He wants to jump over there. I bet you he's still over there. Let's see. Peekaboo! <laughs> Put him to sleep. Oh, look at this guy. Knife fell. Oh, but it turned into some hip fire. Look at that gun skill. I turned a knife fell into a hip fire rally. Look at that. We're still down 91 to 16. Even though we've been holding two flags, my teammates must be dying a lot. Look at that. Get out of here, turd. Oh, I should have held out a little longer. I guess they were spawning over there. Look at that. I'm 22 and what, five or something? I looked at it real quick. So look at this. We're still down, but we're holding two flags. So that means our, my teammates are dying a lot. Because I've been capturing flags. I've been putting in work, making sure we got these flags, holding them down. But I can't do anything if my teammates are going to keep dying. So anyway, look at this. We're still down. Oh, look at this guy. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? pick a -boo. Oh, look. They tried to hide. Get out of here. That's that silencer. Look, I thought it was a door here. I need to learn the map a little better. So a lot of people want to know how I start the game off. If you watch the first few videos, I'm taking you through my perspective. I'm showing you the things that I'm doing. Now, here's the setup. This is the AK-12 setup. I think this is one of the better beginner setups. And it may, it may be a setup I use throughout the whole game. Who knows? But I like the perks I'm using. It makes killing people a little easy. I got the scavenger on, so I'm not running out of bullets. You know, I got the fast hands on. You know, so... And I don't use the little exo abilities. I know they have these things. Oh, where are these guys at? Where are they at? And there you go. And look at that. I don't want a pretty decent roll right here. Now, I'm not doing too bad. I can't speak for my teammates. And look at this. I know these guys are all around me. They're going to come from my left or right. 
Now, the reason I don't use the cloaking and all the other stuff, I just, I forget to use it. So I don't even put it on. To me, it's a waste of perk space because I never hit that button. Like, I realize, oh, yeah, I never cloaked myself the whole game. Just like I don't throw grenades. And that's why I'm not carrying frags and stuff. And they have the one thing that I thought would be like the IED, the sticky explosive that follows you. That thing, I've used that thing many a times. I haven't gotten a single kill with it. I'll throw that thing. People will run right over it. Either they have the perk that makes it ineffective or the thing is ineffective. And I've had people tell me they may get hit markers with it. So to me, it's not even worth the perk, perk spot. So I'd rather go ahead and, you know, up my perks to help speed my gun up a little bit. See, camping is going to have to be more of a uh, positional camping in this game. And that's what I'm finding. I'm holding areas down, but I haven't seen a, a, a whole area held down a whole game unless it's a team. Oh, look at that. Night fell. Oh, but hit fire. Oh, that's what I think that's what's going to happen. Every time I get a night fell, I'm going to get a hit fire. <laughs> I, oh, where'd that guy come from? So right now we're losing, but look, I want to win. It's 38 seconds left, and it's so close. And look, they're being more aggressive, and oh, how did that happen? All right, you guys, if you're still watching the video at this point, go ahead and leave a like. It really helps out a lot. You know, I, I really appreciate when people leave likes, leave a comment, leave feedback, leave any tips or tricks that you learn from the game. Literally, I learned a thing about the turret from reading comments. I read the comments, and if you know something about the game, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Get out of here. I think that was a little shook. Sorry, bro. You know, I just want to get better, too. And if we can help each other get better, that's what Capra Nation is all about. And look at this. This game is over. So at this point, it's just a matter of saving face. Let's see how many kills I can get. And look, I hate the fact my score isn't up the whole time. Let me see how I did. I've been doing these games like 18 and 2, 18 and 3. What's the final score? Got to watch the kill. Can oh, there you go. 31 and 8. That's what's up. Capra Nation. We about to take over. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha.